Hello. I'm going to tie a March Brown here, March Brown done here in just a minute. But I wanted to make you aware of an event uh, that coming up in about a week or so. Uh, it's going to be March 30th at 8.30 live stream. Uh, an event called East Meets West. And it's it's put on by the uh, by Fly Fishers International. It's going to feature Tim Camisa and Al Beatty tying flies. Uh, I'll be on a panel uh, as will Jerry Coviello, who's head of the fly tying group of uh, Fly Fishers International. Um, and it will be moderated by Jack Gillis. All of these guys are great tires and uh, experienced fly fishermen, and it, it's going to be a general discussion of eastern flies, western flies. What are the differences? What are the similarities? I think it's going to be really good, and uh, hope you can make it. I'll leave a link below in the description. And now let's tie a March Brown. This is a number 10 dry fly hook. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna give myself quite a little bit of space here at the eye. I have a lot of trouble keeping the eye clean on this. And I've got a problem already. I'm going to take the thread halfway down and then halfway back on just the thread area. This will put me right around the oh, a third of the way down the hook, leaving myself plenty of room on this. Now I've got, for the wings, I, I, I want these wings to be dark wood duck. And I've got two here. Uh, a lot of my dark stuff uh, is small. So I'm going to use two feathers back to back for this. This is something that Elsie Darby used to do. She didn't have the right, you know, uh, high enough quality wood duck, whatever. She just had some small ones. I want these to be a good hook length. And that should be about right, right there. This is a big fly, and when you see these in the wild, they are sizable. I'm staggering these cuts as I go back to get a taper. And I like to thin it out a little bit as well. I'm trying for as smooth a taper as I can get reasonably get. All the way back to the bend. This is some uh, brown Coq de Leon. Can use brown hackle. This tail should be again long. And this is going to work out pretty well, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's about how long I want it there. Maybe maybe, maybe I'm going to shorten it up just just a touch. There. If you see these flies in the wild, especially the spinners, I mean, 
I just can't believe how long their tails, their appendages in general are. This thread is fluorescent orange. Um, going back to uh, Preston Jennings' book, he talks about using orange thread throughout this fly, and I, and I like that. I've always used orange. And I've, I've actually always used fluorescent orange. Um, the, the first person I heard talk about fluorescent orange thread, especially at heads, on heads, was Fran Betters from Wilmington, New York. This dubbing is a combination of, of red fox belly fur, the tan, and I, I, I added some tannish yellow dubbing from Harrop to this. I'm going to back this off a little bit. I don't want to dub this too thickly. We'll back to the starting point here. I want a little of this uh, thread to show through at times. It's pretty good, and, I'll, and I stop short of the uh, wings because we've got quite a bit of hackle that's going to go on here. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get these wings propped up and set. Notice I'm not taking all my turns right in front of the wings. I'm, I'm, I'm going down. I'm trying to level out this front section. I don't want it. I don't want too big an incline here. I want to get these feathers back to their original fibers as best I can. Get them divided out. Hold the near one in place and just take a couple of soft turns up it and one behind. That one that one back behind is important. Then I'll hold the far ones up in place. Take a couple turns up them. And then we'll go right in front with some turns. So they're pretty upright and divided now, but what we're gonna do next, we're gonna take some figure eights to, to uh, make these wings a little more compact in the Catskill style. If I was tying this fly to fish myself, I, I probably would not do this. Um, but anyway, we're going to do this in more or less the true cat skill style, or as close as we can come with modern materials. This is, this figure eighting kind of bundles these, makes them a little more upright as well. This one's twisted. I've got two hackles ready to go here. I want their concave sides together as I tie them in.
and I'm going to I'm going to want to put the brown one in the rear. Tie them in underneath the hook, both behind and in front. So I'm going to have the brown one in the rear facing forward as I take turns. And then I want the grizzly to be the front hackle when I'm done. This method is going to give us compact and dense hackle when we're complete. That's my goal. I'm going to wrap the brown one first and I want its flues to angle forward. I like to take the second, make this second turn just get this. Just be right behind the wings. Almost butted up against the wings. Then I'll I'll, I'll leave a space in front of the wings. Do one more turn. Hold it up. And take two turns just to hold it in place. This first turn here needs to go in front of, of this hackle in the space. And if there's more space back there, I'll, I'll, I'll take another turn. And there, there is. And then this turn goes right in front of the wings. And then this last turn with the grizzly actually will go in front of the brown. We'll hold it with two, two turns. And now grab everything and force it back and take one, two, three turns into the bundle. Three turn whip finish and that much is done. Try to shove that back and pretend we have a space like we're supposed to for the Catskill flies and it's really it's very difficult for me to do on this fly. I've I've tried. I've done my best here. Looks like we're still recording. So my camera died there. What I'm doing is I'm opening my scissors and just pushing this through. Finding the stem, just pushing it through like that. And there is our March Brown done. A little bit of orange showing through, kind of a hot spot idea. And uh, whether that means a thing to the fish, I don't know. But it means a lot to me. And that's, that's, just keep in mind that you, you're the important person. You're, you're, you're the person you have to impress. Fish are easily impressed if they're hungry. Um, but you have to have the confidence to fish this fly, and I would certainly fish this one.